A lot of you might be planning on tuning in to Krim 2 this Sunday for, you know, just a random I don't know football what, game. What's happening in the yeah. No, just a random football game. <laughs> it's the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> nothing big, nothing, nothing major. Big. But that's right. You could actually watch for way more than just the football. Our Nicole Hernandez is now joining us in studio this morning, telling us more about all the fun you can still have if you're not into football. So Nicole, what are you excited about for on Super Bowl Sunday? And I feel like that's a is everyone not excited about the food? Like, I think that's pretty normal. On top of food and, of course, the football, there's also commercials and then the performances. Performances is what we're talking about today. The halftime show this year is going to be Usher. He says he's put together a show that honors more than just R&B music, but also R&B performance. CBS Morning's Gail King sat down with Usher to talk about his performance. That interview is playing on CBS Mornings this morning right after Up With Creme. Here's a quick sneak peek. There are some people that say Kansas City Chiefs, 49ers, great. I'm watching for Usher, Usher, Usher. You know who wins the Super Bowl? Usher. Usher. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say when you know Usher, baby. <laughs> Sure. I can't do it. I still right. love him. My teenage heart still <laughs> melts. Did you see the smile, though? Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> sure has that big spot on the halftime show, of course. But a bunch of other big names are going to be at the Super Bowl as well. I'm not talking just about Taylor Swift. Post Malone is singing America the Beautiful. Andre Day will sing Lift Every oh, Voice. It's gonna so good. It's, it's going to be, gonna be so good. And then Reba McIntyre is singing the national anthem. So some Ooh. big, big names there. Another big Super Bowl tradition is betting. Have you guys been on the Super Bowl? I haven't before. I have before. Yes. I won a lot of money Ooh. thanks to the Patriots coming back and beating the really? Falcons. That 28 to 3 game? Yes. Yeah, my, wow. my family and my tradition is prop betting. Oh. So it's like, you know, what's the final score going to be? What color is the Gatorade going to totally. be? Totally. Those what's are fine. The score, you know. Okay, so, so a fun. lot of people purposefully take bets on things that like are really not likely to happen. Right. Yeah. Because then, of course, you make bigger Big money, money if it actually like does money. happen. I love it. <laughs> I went through some of the betting websites. A couple examples. One, if Reba McIntyre, you bet on it, she wears green boots or a green hat, big money. Okay. Or if the Chiefs coach wow. uh, talks about Taylor Swift in his speech, big money. <laughs> like random things. Yeah, like, those things it. aren't going to happen. But if they do, then you wow. win big. I love How this. Fun. <laughs> Oh the more goodness. you know, Nicole. I, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we want to let you know and remind you, Creme 2 is the only place you can watch the big game. CBS Sports Super Bowl coverage starts bright and early at 9 a.m. on Sunday. The teams will then kick off in Las Vegas at 3.30 p.m. And then after the big game, you can watch a new episode of Tracker and then join us for a special edition of Creme 2 News.